M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Right now I am using the ProScan software with my SDS200. Now it does work with many scanner types. I'll just show you here, drop down list, and you can see I've got the BC15, it works excellent with that. You can use it on two different computers and as many different radios as you like, and I'll be testing it on the uh, 3600 by Uniden, the uh, BCT15 and the SDS200 are the ones that I can test it with. So it's predominantly, it's Uniden devices. But what I like about it, if we look at the, the other software here, the, the ProScan is on the left and the ARC536 is on the right. Now I have been using the Sentinel as well, more for just basic programming. But if you want the advanced version where you get the screen and you can look there, this screen that you're seeing right now, if I just go into scan mode, is live. And it's virtually, I would say it is the same screen that you get uh, with the with the, 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 the SDS 200E and I'm sure that if I selected scanner type SDS 100, I know I haven't got the 100, but it will it will be the same, yeah, because it's using the same software. And if I change the frequency, look, and that's selecting the SDS 100. Now the other scanner type I could go for is, I've just tested this, I've got the UBC 3600 coming. It must use a similar interface because look, it's Everything's working, um, as you can see. But I mean, you're not meant to do it this way. I'm just tinkering it, but Comport as well. Now, what I like about it, the main thing I like about it is that the problem is if we switch back to my SDS 200, like so, there we are. And you've got full control here. You can import, export once you've paid for the full version. The problem with the ARC536 is that when you want to see the screen, you have to connect the device as a, as a, as a, um, a so it shows up in your device manager, I keep forgetting the term now, a serial port, okay, USB serial and it's COM24, but when you want to import and export the files and change the files on the device, you then have to go back into your SDS200 unplug the cable, plug it back in, and then select E, and then it's effectively talking directly to your SD card. And I find that, because it's a two, it's a two pronged approach, and I don't like that. Although I have got the ARC536 Pro software, and it does look fantastic, and there's a lot of very positive things about it. I find I keep going back to the, the, the ProScan software, because it's just got everything. I don't have to change any cables, and with, with with this device, the STS200, it's got an Ethernet cable, so I can even access it via Ethernet, uh, which is very handy. So um, I thought I'd let you know that, and uh, just playing around here, you can see that I can select menu, all the different items here. I am quite new to this, that's why there's pauses in my conversation, because I'm, I'm, it's a lot of what I'm seeing is new menu function it's got everything you know and you've got all this here favorites editor options now favorites editor if i click that favorites file is closed so is it going to tell me to um swap over is it going to tell me to let's try it unplug plug back in select e this time is it going to do the same thing? Is that going to then allow me to program it? We're in the E mode. Let's try that again. Favorites editor. No. So I, I think I did look at this earlier regarding the, the file close, and it was literally just a matter of selecting the file. But anyway, I thought I'd quickly show you. Bye for now, 7-3.